Right, ladies and gents, this is Spanish Superlatives. Learn how to say in Spanish the most, the least, the biggest, the greatest, the most fantastic, etc, etc. Taking into account both gender, talking about masculine and feminine, and the number, we're talking about whether it's singular or plural. Okay, now this video is going to be split uh, between the following. First of all, you're going to see a cartoon overview or preview, if you like. Then you're going to see an e-blackboard presentation, uh, the inputs session, if you like. And then there's going to be a review of the six sentences that are presented in the e-blackboard presentation um, to music, I should hasten to add. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have the materials that can be screenshot and used in class, along with lesson plans, etc. Right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about superlatives. Superlatives, the best, the greatest, the most, the least, the biggest, the sharpest, the most fantastic. These are all examples, guys and girls, of superlatives. Wow, sir. Anyway, in Spanish, we have to, first of all, split them between uh, whether they're masculine or feminine. Now, masculine, we start off with L, and with feminine, we start off with LA. Okay, now masculine plural is los, and then feminine plural, it's just coming up here, ladies and gents, is las. Okay, masculine plural, los, and feminine plural, las. Let's have a look at the masculine. So, el, so the most is el mas. Okay, and then el menos means the least. Mas by itself means more, and menos means uh, less, or minus even. These stay the same, okay. Uh, whether the masculine or feminine, okay, and also they say the same whether it's singular or plural, mas or menos, also means more or less, they are. Now, feminine, la, so la mas, the most, if you're referring to a uh, feminine noun, or la menos, meaning uh, the least. Now, masculine plural, so this time it's going to be los, mas, as you can see every time that the mass and the menos stays the same. It doesn't change. You don't add anything onto that at all. Okay. Now, feminine plural, guys. It's uh, las. So las mas, the most. And then las menos, the least. Okay. Now, let's have a look at it with an adjective coming after it. So, el mas, meaning the most. Or el menos, meaning the least. Now, we have here, first of all, practico which means practical. So the most practical will be el más practico, and the least practical will be el menos practico. So let's have a look at uh, feminine. Uh, la más, the most. Okay, menos again, obviously. So la más practica. So A on the end this time, meaning the most practical if it's feminine. Now, on the same token, uh, masculine plural, so los mas, or menos, so this time it's going to go to practi, okay, wait for it, practicos, so os is an ending. And las, following the pattern of as, so look at it, las mas, the most, and then practicas, meaning the most uh, practical. Okay, as on the end, ladies and gents. Pedal, but, wait for it, these two are... Irregular, the elegante or guay. Elegante means elegant, obviously, and guay means cool. Stays the same, masculine and feminine. However, plural, we add on, you guessed it, an S. You knew that already, didn't you, ladies and gents? Gracias y adios. Okay, ladies and gents, this is the presentation uh, E Blackboard that we're now going to look at. Uh, as you can see, we've got this slide here. Now, the first one is what dress is the most expensive? So, what is que? Okay, and then we've got dress, which is vestido, es. So, que vestido es. Now, we're talking about a masculine noun here, ladies and gents. So, it's el. And then we got mas, meaning the most. So, el mas. Okay, and then expensive, if it's masculine, is caro. Que okay, vestido es el más caro. Because this dress is the most comfortable. So because, ladies and gents, is porque. So you've got porque, meaning because. Now, this dress is este. So este, if we're referring to a masculine noun for this. Es, okay, that's going to obviously be L again. 
and then here, ladies and gents, mas, so el mas, and then uh, comfortable is comodo, so comodo, so like so. Now, comodo that if it was feminine. Number three, this t-shirt is the most expensive. So this t-shirt is going to be esta, because it's feminine. So esta camiseta, es, okay, and this time we need la, okay, and then mas, so you've got la, mas. Instead of caro, because it's feminine, we're going to change that to cara. Okay, these trousers are the cheapest. So... Estos is masculine plural. So estos pantalones son, meaning are. Now the cheapest, okay, masculine plural is los. So los mas, now remember mas doesn't change at all, okay, in terms of adding anything or taking anything away. So the cheapest, okay, is going to be baratos. Notice the OS ending for masculine plural. Number five, these boots are the least attractive. So, ladies and gents, these boots becomes estas and then botas. So, estas botas son, okay, now last this time because it's a uh, feminine plural. Now, this time, the least, we're going to use menos. Las menos, okay, and attractive, okay, bonitas for feminine plural plural okay right the last one i'm going to buy now that ladies and gents is voy a comprar like so now the coolest now what we say here guys we go los pantalones okay um now and then we go mass so we have mass over here coming after that los pantalones mass okay and then here we're going to have guais, like uh, so, okay? E and, uh, we don't need to repeat it twice, and we can just have simply elegantes, like so. Now, notice for masculine and uh, feminine, it doesn't change at all, but it's just be guai, and the same for elegante as well. You only add an S on if it's plural. Okay, gracias y adiós.